Okay guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinet TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing and we appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is Epson Workforce WF7840 printer. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's multi-tax, four in one if you like. In the sense you can copy, scan and print from this gear. Check my video, see how we connected this printer to Wi-Fi network. We complete alignment head. We also install the ink cartridges. We also connect this, connected this printer to Wi-Fi network. So check out my series of video about this printer. I received this question, someone asked how to scan document with this printer using ADF. Okay, so this printer, you can scan using the glass scanner. Yeah, and also using automatic document feeder. So what we want to do is to show you how to scan a document using ADF. Okay, so with this printer, I'm going to show you the features. With this printer, you can print, copy and scan fax with this printer, auto two-sided print, auto two-sided copy and scan. Paper capacity is 500 paper capacity. This printer got three paper trays. So rear paper tray at the back here and also the bottom casket number one and number two. Okay, so the, uh, this is number one and number two. Okay, paper paper trays. Check my video, see how we loaded the paper. So what I want to show you is how to scan using ADF is what you are going to do. Okay, to scan a document using ADF, you need to select the document you want to scan. Okay, stick it. Okay. Take it to your ADF printer and select the document size. So what we have here is A4. Okay, is what we loaded here. Okay, so the document we have here is A4. Okay, and now you can do this using. So with your mobile device, we need to go back. So this printer is connected to Epson Smart Panel. So go back to Epson Smart Panel. So right now, going back to Epson Smart Panel, okay, select, so from the app, you scroll sideways, okay, you can see ready print, scroll print photo, scroll print document, document capture, scan, so this is the scan, okay, go to more settings, select more se settings, okay, and select document source select document source to okay you can select adf automatic document feeder so change it from glass to adf and once you've done that then select the color of the document you want to copy want to scan if you want to scan it black and white then you select right now it's in colored okay now also scanning side so scanning size you can select double-sided or scanning one side so select what we're doing right now scanning double-sided okay and image format is pd pdf pdf is usually for document but if it's photo then you select jpj jpeg okay so this is the things you need to select so just to recap what we have done right now we selected document source is adf document size is a4 paper image type is colored Resolution, you can select the resolution, you can low is 200 dpi, standard is 300 dpi, high 600 dpi is the highest, okay, from here. So right now it's in standard, so we'll go back, okay. Then after that, automatic rotation, you can select it or not. Also select scanning size, double sided, and the next you need to do is start scan. Here we go, you can see. The document just gone in. You can see it's scanning the sec the second side second page. Here we go.
okay it's processing the image here we go document scan this is the first one second one double-sided so you select the function from your mobile from the app here this is the first and second so you scan the double-sided can see it okay and this is the this is the document we scan double-sided okay now the next is for you us to print this document if you want to print it out okay select print select next if you want to scan more then you need to add scan okay so right now only one document want to scan but if you want to add more then you click add let's say if you want to scan another document okay maybe if you want to scan this is one-sided bl black and white select okay i'm going to sh show you right now so pretty much this is adf again then then we can go back again you can select scan But the only thing is, it won't, it won't scan two sides. It can scan two sides, but nothing will be inside because we need to send the settings. Okay. So initially, the way this works is, you need to set it from the ends. You need to set it from the beginning. Okay. Select the job you want to do. So right now, this document is scanning. Okay, you can see it scanned this document two, two, twice. Okay, this is the first one and second one because the setting has not been changed. Okay, but if you want to do the job, then you need to first of all, okay, select your settings. Okay, but you get, you, you, you get, so you select your setting then before you do anything. Okay, right now, this document, what you have here, okay, we scan one, two, three. Okay, so if you want to delete this one, you can also select delete then this one is deleted okay so we have right now three pages okay now select next you can save the document save it any particular file you want to save it so right now i'm going to save it in a picture save okay the file is saved do you want to go back to the home screen yes or no no now the next we can we want to do is this document will scan you can share it okay you can also print it out i want us to print it out as well select okay so right now this document is saved okay do you want to go back to the home screen no so right now click share okay once you click share you can share it using outlook which is email and also print it out using epson smart panel so i want to print it out first using epson smart panel select print Okay, so right now it's connecting to Epson Smart Panel. Communication communication error. We we'll check if the mobile device printer or scanner are both connected to the same network. Okay, so there's a network issue. Okay, select OK. So right now what we need to do is Okay, I'm going to remove this. Okay, now So go back to the home screen, yes or no, no. Okay, select share. Okay, check Epson Smart Panel. Okay, you can see it's getting ready. Okay, maybe perhaps because the document was underneath here. Okay, that's probably why it didn't show up. You can see this is document right now, select print. Okay, then from this print, you can select what you want to can print. Select double-sided, two-sided, long okay or short or short so this is two-sided and change the color can change the color to colored or black and white to colored select how many copies as well okay and also the next is select print Here we go. You can see the job is printing out right now.
here we go remember we are printing this colored two-sided There we go. So this is the document to scan, printed out, double-sided, okay? And when you are scanning this job, if you change your mind, it can also select cancel, okay? Are you sure you want to cancel or resume the job? So close it. So when you are doing this, you can also cancel it from the screen, select cancel. Do you want to cancel? Yes. Here we go. The job is canceled, okay? You can see the job is canceled. So when you are printing, you can also, this is the option for you to cancel the job. Okay, so go back. Now, go back again. Okay, so this is how to scan your document using ADF. Okay, copy, scan the document using ADF, print it out, black and white, double-sided, print it out, colored, double-sided, or either way. Okay, if you're happy with this tutorial, Please do consider to subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you. This is the process to scan using ADF. Okay. So you need to select where you want to scan it, either using ADF or using the printer scanner. Okay. Printer glass scanner. Thank you very much indeed. Please smash, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you. <laughs>